because we tire because we actually have long days and long nights that's why we actually we don't have a normal social life so don't just just hello guys um this is wilmer carcamo and today i want to make a video about shopping with my um with my son maddox um i can say with my non-common son a non-regular son i don't know this will be probably a big debate with a uh, parents with a special need kids because some of them they don't like when they call their kids special need kids or non-common kids or non-regular kids so personally uh or family really doesn't bother because it's really hard to actually refer to someone who is different um without offending someone so um Feel, feel, we feel okay. You can normal and uh, name us as, uh, as as you want. Um, not regular, not common, uh, no neurotypical uh, kid. Uh, but then there is my son Maddox. So this is Maddox, as you know. Um, Maddox suffer for a genetic condition called FIQ14.3 deletion. So he's missing part of his chromosome five. Um, so. He actually is non-verbal, is no mobile, he has no awareness of dangers or anything around him. Um, he's not diagnosed autistic, but um, he is uh, autistic or he's in a spectrum as well. Um, besides, he has no mobile. Um, he just learned how to say go uh, because I think he wanted the car to keep moving, but we are here in the in the and the supermarket. So uh, going to shopping is a, is, a, is, a, is a challenge because for example, for Maddox, Maddox suffers of seizure. He's seizure free for almost a six months or eight months. Um, but that's no, that doesn't mean that we need to be ready. So we need to carry all his emergency medication in case something happened, but also, um, you know, we need to carry as a baby, we need to carry all his back, also his backpack with all his stuff like a pamper, diapers, and all the stuff that actually a regular kid or a regular baby would need. Um, beside that, he is has no mobility, so he's uh, he's really weak and strong, so he needs support for everything for sit down or actually on his chair. So I have his wheelchair with me, but today I'm using a um, my hiking backpack because uh, every mother we understand this if you actually uh, go for a supermarket with a, a just newborn uh, you you push in your car with your baby so it will be really hard to handle or shopping to put a stuff in it because your baby is in so basically you need to be able to handle uh, use your hands and with Maddox it's the same so he's heavier uh, so it's hard for me to push his car push a trolley or or, or or back so the backpack will work better for me um, in this term so it's a whole logistic to get out of the house uh, to make sure he has everything that he needs uh, for the couple minutes that we go into the supermarket and you know make sure if something happened we're ready for any emergency uh, that hopefully nothing happened because he has been seizure free but also he's better holding himself so he has been uh, for the last uh, few months he got uh, stronger he's strong so he's still weak he still needs support but he's a lot better holding himself as you see this is a new car seat because the other one has a lot more support was a lot more bulky so this is easy actually to put it in him and put it out uh, with his seat belt and stuff like that so it's just a logistic this video will be probably not the funnest things but you will see what i do what we do as a parent uh, of a non-common kid uh, or non-regular kid um uh, like I said, you can say it, no neurotypical kid. So, um, and it's, you know, COVID-19, so it's a lot of restrictions. So we need to make sure he's safe in other ways. Um, always in my backpack, it's, I think it's good. Right, puppy? So, this is Maddox. Sorry, we not brush your hair because we don't look the prettiest because actually we spend more time getting ready and stuff. So I will show you how he get ready. Um, I will, how I'll get him set it up in my, in the, in the, in the rucksack or in the backpack on the hiking back and and i will film some stuff just buying some produce actually it's outside so it's like a, a it's dobby's a moped um and they have the produce a department of size is pretty cool so let me show you how this goes Um, I secure his belt and this will be the way I will put it on. You will see it. I will be a challenge now. Okay.
So this is the place we're coming out. I just come to get some produce. See? So this is outside of Dobby's. Dobby's is there, it's a whole supermarket, but we're coming to buy some fruits with Max. So wish me luck. So this is why we came here. And yuca, cassava as well. Mm. So um Max is having fun with the lights. There we go. So a few stuff to pick it up in the end and then go to pay. So it's pretty pretty awesome on all the selections that they have. So it's good for us because it's outside and then it's easy to come through. The process going back in or taking them all just pretty much reverse. So I need to sip everything is heavy so I need to make sure I have him before I let it go. Okay, Max, could you like uh, look after the eggs, please? Max is in charge of the eggs. Um, well, as you saw, probably Max is not fine as well of the wind. I'm not sure about the cold, but it's actually it's the wind hitting his face or his arm or his hands because you know he's sensor seeking. So some sensations. Actually, he's not quite happy. So that's another struggle. Uh, beside lights, beside noises, and all the stuff that no, normally uh, no common kids uh, struggle with, or non neurotypical kids struggle with because of the perception. So as a parent, you need to we need to be aware like wherever we go, it, there is nothing that will affect your kid. In general, uh, sounds related, uh, light related, because some of them are seizures triggered by light, or the light triggered the seizures. Um, or the discomfort. Thankfully, Max has no m too much of those, um, and he, the only thing that bothers him actually is the sensation, like the feeling, the wind, um, some noises. Uh, but otherwise, he's quite relaxed and easy. He's tired as well, so I need to go back home and probably go to sleep. <laughs> there you go. I just told you. Um, as a parent or as a dad uh, of a no common kids, actually, you learn a lot of stuff to understand. I, I'm really. Um, I'm really interested for the fact of human behaviors and stuff like that. Um, it's really hard because uh, my son is, is completely different to understand. It's not the regular day-to-day -day reading people, uh, but um, you know, but I love him and I know how he is. I know how he reacts to stuff. I know when he's not happy, etc., etc. So as a parent, we know and I know understand that people around us uh, have not seen this side. Uh, some people or some friends around neural, no neurotypical kids, no common kids, actually, um, they don't even understand because they know they are not in the day to day. But it's hard to, to to explain, or it's hard to expect other people to understand our kids. Um, so basically, we insulate and we just stay behind or staying, you know, outside of the normal circle. So it's not your friends, it's not your family. It's just simple. It's, it's better, easy for us. To actually just stay away for all the noise and all the day-to-day -day stuff with our friendships and stuff so um don't feel bad uh, trying to understand us um you know uh, we invite you to look after max one day if you want to so hope this video was quite understandable quite helpful it's long but it's just a moment of a uh, this is how long it takes us to do regular stuff for your kids because Max is is like a baby still and will be probably for a little bit longer until he develop all the skills I don't, we don't know when we don't know if it will happen but um, so it's for you to understand our regular day and why sometimes we say we're not coming out because um, my son um, will be not happy but also add all these for the long nights and not sleep because you know he's awake two o'clock in the morning from last night and we need to look after him because he cannot do anything he need to be fed he need to be changed he need to be entertained and eventually he cannot do anything by himself so because we tire because we actually have long days and long nights that's why we actually 
we don't have a normal social life. So don't just 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 simple lovers and you know be there when we need it. So see you next time, guys. Thank you.